Hey guys, you are standing in the freshly completed cabin that I started in the last episode. I didn't do a whole lot more, uh, well actually I did a whole lot I guess. I took the stone roof down and added in this wooden angled thing and extended out these posts and added in some posts to kind of like show the support a little bit more. Uh, it's still not perfect. I think the design is on the right path at least, but I think what would help this look less awkward is to extend it out this way and extend it out in the back, and that would just make this angle look less uh, dramatic. Now I do have one question for you guys. Uh, you can see this front here part, this front part here, spooky, this front part here where the uh, the wooden roof, sort of like that color extends into the glass part down to the support beams. I'm gonna check my sound really quickly. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, but then also in the back, I did it another way, where sort of this these support structures go through here, and you can see sort of based on the direction of the wood grain, uh, which way the wood sort of like the wood beams are facing. I guess you can see this one's going up to show the extension of this through this. Uh, to sort of, again, accentuate the fact that these are support beams that are interlocking in some way or other to hold up the walls. So let me know if you think this looks better, or if you think this looks better. I'll take any suggestions that you guys, ha any suggestions that you guys have. I know I'm not a fantastic builder, so uh, it's always good to get feedback. Now I think uh, my main goal for today would be to uh, get a sustainable food source because I know that um, eating zombie flesh is definitely getting old and right now I don't think I have much choice because I've sort of done a little bit of exploring the surrounding area and haven't really found much and I don't think I have much choice other than to start a little farm right here and that'll renew itself I suppose that's one two three four five six wait one two three four five six seven and we'll make this eight I know that uh, this will replenish itself and the bread is a good source One thing that I need to do almost immediately is come out or uh, get a bucket and bring some water over here so this stays hydrated and grows a lot quicker. Now the problem with that is that I don't have any iron yet. So I think the first thing that I'm going to have to do before I do anything else is go underground some this looks like it may go somewhere but I need to head underground and find some iron this also looks like it goes somewhere more promising so I won't bore you guys with exploring and the caves and anything like that but I will leave the recording software recording in case anything exciting happens but besides that I'll see you guys whenever I find some iron cool Okay, so that didn't take too long. Um, it looked like the hole that was on the right, the left, get those mixed up, <laughs> I had already been, it had been something that had been dug out by someone, because I know before, someone had definitely been down here before. Just because of the way it was exposed and the way things had been dug out, and also the fact that uh, the sand staircase was here. But, this just goes down here and it's a dead end to nothing. So, but there's iron here. So we'll get this and get this cooking. I think three iron is all we need to make a bucket. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> now I knew, I used to know if you put down water, if you leave a 
leave a, a spot of water. Uh, how far out? It's sort of a... Uh, yeah, I think he's in the nether. How far out it usually um, hydrates? I don't really remember right now. So I'll probably experiment with that off camera a little bit to sort of figure that out. But yeah, um, we get this iron cooking up right now, and while we wait, uh, we'll sort of look around here, take care of any skeletons or zombies in the area. See if there's any like th anything on the surface. I haven't really gone out this way any. I've been more looked around more in this direction just because that's where everything is. Looks like we have a nice little uh, ravine area down here that's going to be worth exploring, as well as some surface iron right there. I would like to um, start a farm of some kind. It's always really stressful uh, leading animals, because I know in previous games that I've played they just do not want to follow you. But I know for chickens, it's really helpful to have a chicken farm. So that you can uh, keep arrows replenished and stuff like that. And uh, what are you working on? Yeah, I'm still meeting a lot of people on the server, but uh, i reply to him really quickly. Still meeting people. Uh, really haven't gotten to play much other than that one episode that uh, that you guys saw. That's pretty much all I've done so far. Pretty much all I've done so far. So uh, not a lot has happened off camera besides building that. I didn't want to bore you guys with that. But I uh, see I got that one egg. Uh, we'll see if he hatches another one. I don't have anything to lead him over. Well, they come with seed, don't they? So we'll do that. Let's see if we can get anything out of these guys. It's not looking like we're going to get anything. Oh, I got some mushrooms, though. Yeah, so, um, let me know what you guys want to see. I have some ideas for some builds for back at the spawn area. I don't want to reveal information too uh, prematurely just yet. So that, the uh, you know, one person that might be watching this and get interested, uh, I don't want to disappoint anyone, basically. But, uh... Yeah, it's going to be something I'm going to have to work out in creative mode, and it's going to take a lot of resources, but I th have a pretty basic idea of what that's going to what that would look like anyway. Being very mysterious right now, aren't I? I know right now these episodes are probably kind of boring to watch just because I'm getting everything set up still. Uh fence that right then you do this sweet yeah so we'll make a little fenced in area for this guy keep him out of the the crabs yeah should be fine I know in my single player world I set up a huge uh, cow and chicken farm right next to my little hut and <laughs> that was rough just because of all the noise the noise was intense but uh yeah, it's important to have that stuff I 
This should be more than enough to fit this guy in here. Yeah, so we'll bring him over here. I'm kind of banking on this egg hatching something as well. It didn't. But that's how it goes. You're trapped now. Um, I'll go get some more chickens, and I'll see you guys when I have a little bit more to do. So, I haven't uh, finished the farm yet, but I'm hearing all this zombie noise, and I've noticed zombies coming to my house in the middle of the day. Which makes me think there is a spawner somewhere around here. Uh, if there were to be one, that would be really good for me. So I could get the, I could loot the chest, and that that would be a good way to find a dungeon to sort of explore a little bit and get some resources. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple more chickens in my little farm, but then I'm gonna come back and focus on this. And I'll see you guys in a second. I just wanted to fill you in. All right, guys, it turned out to not be a spawner. I don't think it got quiet once I started to get a lot closer to the source of the noise and by the time I came back all the zombie noise was gone and uh, I dug around a little bit and the little ravine that we saw where the waterfall was next to my hut uh, I dug towards the noise and it just opened up into this little place almost sure there's a spawner somewhere somewhere around here but right now I don't really have anything to go on I had opened up and there was a skeleton in there but that was all. That was it. I did get some uh, iron out of it, which is good. Uh, as far as my little farm goes up here, finally put a little gate there. We have a little chicken family growing, and we got this action going on in it. I don't remember exactly. Something tells me it's like, like one, two, three, four out this way, and then a four square around it. I could be wrong. So this will start growing a lot quicker and that way we have uh, some food. For the chickens I just gotta remember to come in here and check regularly to throw those eggs down. And also once this starts popping up I'll get some grain to feed them with. So yeah, we finished our little hut guys and um, we have a little food source going now, so I'm not going to be starving half the time in all, all of my episodes. <laughs> There's a potential, uh, what's the word? Spawner. Yeah. There's a potential spawner over here, so we'll get exploring over here and start looking around. I'm sure that there is, and if not, there's at least, uh, see that dungeon sound? There's at least going to be something exciting to do over here in this big huge ravine so we'll get going on this see something down there so yeah we have some exciting times ahead of us and maybe in the next couple of episode episodes I can preview what I have in mind for uh, for spawn anyway that's gonna do it for this episode guys as always thanks for watching uh, Check out the description box, and be sure to subscribe to all the other guys on the Infinite Gaming server. A lot of great guys, and they're making a lot of entertaining videos. Uh, hopefully, once the community gets going a little bit more, like I said, we just started up, but once things get going, uh, we'll be pumping out a lot of fun content. Start doing a lot more uh, community-based things, games, and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, see, look at that. Sorry. just It looks bad. I don't like it. Something needs to be there. That goes all the way back. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.